Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, back with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at a new type of projector screen that's been hitting the market and become very popular over the last few years, and that is the Floor Rising Screen. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, so thanks for coming back to the channel. Like I said, today we're going to take a look at a Floor Rising projector screen. Now these are notably different from the ceiling mounted projector screens or fixed projector screens because as the name suggests they rise up from the floor rather than dropping down from the ceiling which is the traditional motorized screen that you're probably used to seeing. So I got this screen from a generic seller on Alibaba which is a Chinese wholesale website you pay much less for these types of screens there. I would say that this is basically a vivid storm screen. Looking at a vivid storm screen, that's a brand that is also made in China and sells fluorizing screens. It is exactly the same as far as I can tell in every video I watched, but I paid about half the price. So sometimes with technology like this, if it's just a screen and you're not too worried about other stuff, I didn't have any issue going to like a wholesaler because ultimately that's who you're buying the screen from anyway. They're just slapping a brand on it and charging you double. So I will leave a link to this screen, but there's many other options out there. In this video, more than just review the screen, I kind of want to talk about what these screens can do for you and how the ALR or ambient light reflecting technology that comes with this screen can really help you get a better picture in your theater room. So the first thing to talk about here is sort of the setup and the uh, build quality and how this thing works. Now it's pretty damn heavy. It took me a lot to get it up here on the second floor to the movie room. It is basically the same weight as my ceiling mounted screen from Elite Screens. I'd say that is a good thing for build quality. It doesn't feel cheap. Now the way that this works is pretty simple. You plug it in and you're ready to go. It will bust up right from the minute you plug it in. There's no assembly required. You just have to get it out of the packaging, which was very secure. There was so much foam in the packaging, I filled the whole trash bag. But that's a good thing. You don't want your screen getting damaged. And so once you're ready to go, you press the button and up comes your screen. Now you'll notice on the back of the screen, you see these motorized arms that start to expand. That is basically what keeps your screen upright and standing and you know strong and flat while this expands because you're probably thinking well this is you know this is fighting gravity right this is going up rather than coming down how does it stay taut and that's one of the ways it does it with those arms on the back it also does have the tension strings on the sides which help keep the screen very tight and that's another thing you'll see on a vivid storm screen uh, which is why i'm pretty sure that this is just the vivid storm generic version now really the original reason that i went and got this screen was for the ultra short throw vava projector and that is really how these screens are marketed they're marketed as ultra short throw floor rising alr projectors we'll talk about alr in a bit but i tried it with the vava projector and I have to say that this was sort of my last hurrah with that projector. I'll probably be sending that one back. It's just not right for my room. I tried this screen on the floor. I tried it up on my TV console and my entertainment stand. And no matter what, you really, with the Vava, what this did was this proved to me that before you buy any sort of screen or any sort of furniture or set up your room, you really, really need to like nail in where your projector is going to sit and how it's going to display on the wall and then build your room and your screen around that. The Vava 4K Ultra Short Throw Projector, I don't know if other Ultra Short Throws are different, but in this case, this Vava one really is difficult to integrate into an existing setup. It's not easy to transfer from that to a, from a traditional projector behind me to the ultra short throw when you've already sort of got your setup built. So that's just a quick follow up on that item. But that is why I originally got this screen. And so I was kind of like, well, what do I do now? That's not working. I'm sticking with my BenQ. So one thing you know, if you looked at my review of the Elite screens, uh, ceiling mounted screen that I have that drops down, you know I had some issues with horizontal like roll lines 
That was one thing I actually returned a screen to Elite Screens. They said it was a defect. I got another one back and it looked better, but there's still these horizontal lines that go across the entire screen. And it's something that really has driven me a little bit nuts since I started using the screen. It's certainly watchable. And if you're not paying attention to it, you won't see it, but it's one of those things that I am paying attention to it and I notice it and it will distract me during certain movies. You only really see it during very bright sequences, but it stands out. And so then I started thinking, well, what if I could replace the ceiling mounted screen with this floor rising screen, take that off my ceiling, give my room a little bit more space and kind of remove this big bulky screen from the ceiling and go with that with a traditional projector. And so that's what I tried. Now you can see here that I have some of the same demo footage that I used with the Vava, but this is actually using my BenQ 4K projector and using this new floor rising screen. And picture quality really looks great. I have no issues with the screen in terms of that. This screen is very taut. It didn't have any serious rolls in it. It has roll marks, but you need to be standing right in front of the screen to see these. And even sitting at my fairly short distance of only maybe 10 feet away from the screen on this 92 inch screen, I cannot see them, but I can see them on the Elite screens. I also like the gray color and the fabric on this screen a little bit better than the Elite screens version. And the tab tension on the Elite screens really didn't get the screen as tight as I wanted it. And even though these aren't tab tension and adjustable on the floor rising screen, I think they did a great job making that screen very tight. And there were really only a few small wrinkles in the top left. I will say that, but I think that over time, those will probably go away if I leave this screen up for a little bit and just let it stretch and settle. So I'm really impressed with the picture quality and the picture you're seeing there is actually from the middle of the day with the windows and skylights in this room open because I wanted to test how the screen looks in the daytime. Is it a watchable image? And that's part of what the ALR technology really does. It's supposed to give you a better image in daylight. It's supposed to reflect light, block light, not give you such a washed out picture, even if you're watching it in a brighter room. Now, this doesn't mean that you're gonna get this crisp 4K image with all the lights on. Certainly not. You're always gonna have a better experience with a projector in a dark, dark room. But what this does give you is the ability to put something like this maybe in your living room. Uh, you could put something like this in a theater room that has a lot of windows, unfortunately, like my current one does. And it really does help with the picture quality during the day. Now at night, it's hard to tell much of a difference. Many projector screens look about the same in a dark room, but this one does help with even a minimal amount of light by reflecting that and blocking it off of the screen. So I like the quality and the fabric that they used here. It's a darker gray than the Elite screens and it's some sort of different fabric. I'm not sure what they're using, but that probably all plays into that ALR technology. And I would say that it does work pretty well. I got a better picture on this during the day than I do on my current Elite screens dropdown. Now, one other thing to note is that even though this is, says it's a floor rising projector screen, I found that by putting it on the floor, it was too low. I did originally start with the screen flat on the floor. And when it started to rise up, you can't adjust it to be any higher. You can make it come lower and there are some nice height adjustments you can make to the screen itself, but you can't go any higher. It's set to its highest point right out of the box factory settings, according to the manual. And I tried it and it is, it's set to as high as it would go. And so what I did was I ended up sitting it on the entertainment console. What that's going to do is actually uh, give me the ability to rearrange some stuff that I was playing with to try to integrate the Vava projector. I can get my receiver back in my middle slot and I can actually move my center speaker back up in front of the screen sitting on top of the entertainment console because it rises up far enough that the speaker won't cut off the image. And that's a great thing for my room. Uh, being able to stick this on a console instead of on the floor was a big improvement. And so that's something I would definitely recommend. You know, if you're gonna start with this thing on the floor, even with my projector at this relatively low height, it was pretty hard to get that lined up correctly. If you had a ceiling mount, you could do some tilting and that might work a little bit better. But the image itself was pretty low too. I sit in these chairs right here where I'm sitting 
and I would almost be looking down to see the middle of the screen, which should not be the case. And so putting it up on the TV console was a much better option for me. And even though it's a floor rising in this case, it's a console rising and that definitely worked out a lot better for my particular setup and maybe something you want to look into with these screens don't think that they need to go on the floor it also does come with a wall bracket so that you can mount it onto your wall and that way get it up off the floor but keep it back up against the wall on a slim profile as well so that is also an option so overall even though this didn't work out for the vava test and i am going to send that back and keep my benq behind me here which has been my my workhorse i love this benq projector um, i am going to swap screens i am going to stick with the floor rising screen and uh, uninstall the ceiling mounted one and probably sell that uh, or give it away to a friend do something with that but I like the way the floor rising screen works in my room a little bit better. It has a smaller profile. It's sitting on the TV entertainment console, so it's not this bulky thing on the ceiling. Now, if I could have built something into the ceiling and spent some money, that probably would be a better option, but given how the room is right now, I'm really digging the look of the floor rising screen. I like how simple it is, and I really do like the fabric and the quality of that ALR technology that this screen brings. It gives me a better experience in what can sometimes be a difficult room with lighting. I have a lot of windows. There are five windows in this room, three windows and two skylights. Certainly not ideal. I'm working with the house that I bought, right? Someday I'm moving into another theater room that I'm working on, but not anytime soon. So I've got to work with what I have, and this screen works really well for that particular setup which is why I think it may work really well as a sort of living room TV replacement. These screens are available in multiple sizes. I went with 92 inches. That's what I also had my ceiling mounted screen at. Um, my room is fairly small, so it feels very big in the room. I should say the room is small, like horizontally, but it's it's very long. It's, it's very skinny, but very long. So the skinny size where I'm watching. So 92 inches feels like 150 with how close I watch uh, some of these movies but you can also get this at 120 inches 100 inches um, 150 there's a lot of different options and this honestly is a really nice screen so like i said i'll leave a link it showed up with no problems so i mean could just be my experience but it was very easy to get shipped here even though it was coming from you know this wholesaler this Chinese website, Alibaba. Um, they have some of them on places like DHgate2, other Chinese wholesale websites, AliExpress, places like that. But it just showed up in a FedEx box and the FedEx guy dropped it off. There were no weird, you know, customs forms or anything. So they may be shipping them here to the US first and then shipping out of a warehouse to your home. That makes it a lot easier. Um, but it was, it, it showed up within I got mine within 10 days. It was pretty fast and have no issues with the quality so far. Uh, I've been playing around with it for a few days now and I don't see any reason why you should spend double on the brand name stuff if you can get literally the same technology. And I'm telling you, compare what you've seen in this video to a Vivid Storm review and you're gonna see that this, this is the same thing, right? This is the exact same thing. And I don't typically buy generic brand stuff but in this case, it's just a screen, right? It's just fabric and a motorized screen. The quality is probably exactly the same and it probably is where Vivid Storm gets their screens. So just an interesting note, I don't recommend going on DHgate or somewhere and like buying a uh, 4K TV. Um, that gets a little dicey with more electronics and things that can go wrong. I don't really recommend buying like players or receivers or speakers or anything off there, but where this is just a screen, it works out pretty good for me and there aren't a real ton of manufacturers out there of these screens yet that have established themselves there's a lot of generic or off-brand type stuff and so this is one that i would recommend for sure so thanks for watching this guys those are kind of my thoughts on the floor rising screens versus the ceiling mounted how did it work with an ultra short throw versus my traditional uh, projector you know i think it can work with an ultra short throw but you're going to need to do that at the start 
you're really gonna need to dial in those ultra short throw projectors. This is not something you can swap out. I could swap out this BenQ and put back the Epson projector. I could put an LG or a Sony projector back there and get the same experience. You can't do that with the ultra short throws. That's something I learned the hard way through this process. So something to note, but this is a great screen. Like I said, I love the ALR. It's a really nice screen if you have a room that can be fairly bright during the day, even with blackout curtains and things you still let light in. And so I would recommend it to anybody looking for a different sort of experience than a fixed screen or a ceiling mount. Floor rising is a great option. So like I said, make sure you check the link in the description. You can buy this screen. I don't have any connection to them or affiliation, so I don't get anything for it, but I just wanna provide you with that link. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram. Make sure you're subscribed, like the video, let me know in the comments what you think. And as always, make sure you check out all the other links in my description for ways that you can join the uh, channel as a member, donate to the channel, purchase things through my Amazon storefront, get merchandise, all that good sort of stuff. Um, so I appreciate you all watching. Thanks for coming back to the channel for this one. Uh, I have some really exciting stuff coming. You may have noticed my TV mount where my Hisense TV was is now empty. Something coming soon on that that we get to test out and have some fun with. Uh, as well as some new Blu-ray reviews in 4K. Just got this in today, Airplane from Paramount Presents, new 4K scan, and lots of cool 4K releases coming. So make sure you're subscribed and have those notifications on. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks again for watching. Have a great rest of your week.